Welcome back everyone to the channel. So today is going to be more of a tutorial and we're going to be talking about uh, radar guided missiles and everything you need to know about them. So this could be the ones, the types in the game and how to use them as well as how to avoid them. So please do enjoy and uh, yeah. If you like this video please do like and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to reach 6k by the end of the year, be pretty good. So yeah. So firstly, we're going to talk about the two main types of radar missiles in the game. So the first one is SARH missiles and the second type is ARH. Uh, so SARH stands for Semi-Active Radar Homing and ARH stands for Active Radar Homing. So the image here shows all of the SARH missiles currently in the game. These missiles require a radar lock on a target at all times. If the radar lock is broken, the missile will no longer track the target and these missiles will continue on a straight trajectory or just explode. This next image shows the two ARH missiles currently in the game. These Phoenix missiles, uh, which are only on the F-14s, work completely different to the SARH missiles. Although they do require a lock in the beginning uh, from the plane, uh, once they are fired, the missile emits its own radar signals and therefore can track the target independently of the plane's lock. So what this means is you can fire the missile and it will continue tracking the target even once you've broken radar lock using your plane. So you can go and lock onto other targets, you can go and do some dogfights and the missile will continue on its trajectory towards that enemy. If the missile loses radar contact, the missile will blow up or continue in a straight line. So what are the pros and cons of using radar missiles over infrared? So the pros are they're radar guided, uh, so this means they have an all aspect capability and you can use them in head-ons. Uh, they're immune to flares as well, which is pretty good, and usually have quite a long range. Uh, however, these missiles are worse than infrared in their speed and move really in short range scenarios. So some scenarios infrared would be much better than radar missiles. Uh, you need to maintain a radar lock on your target for the entire duration uh, for SARH. Obviously ARH is slightly different but for these ones you need to maintain uh, the radar lock. Uh, vehicles with a RWR, so radar warning receiver, can tell when you've locked on them, giving them time to deploy uh, countermeasures essentially and uh, the performance especially of SARH again depends on the launching aircraft radar strength. If you're using an aircraft with a poor radar it's going to affect the uh, ability of the missile, it's not going to perform as well as it could. Uh, also some planes do carry chaff which will affect the radar of um, your plane so you find it difficult to maintain locks which usually uh, acts as a countermeasure over ordinary flares. But yeah. So how do you avoid radar guided missiles? So the first step you can use is chaff. Not all planes have this but it uh, will confuse the radar so the missile will no longer uh, be guided towards your plane which is a pretty good way of and probably the most common way. Second way is you can fly really low to the ground and make the radar missile usually often miss you or you can break lock just by flying really close or behind uh, terrain or you can do some pretty hard manoeuvres uh, the Wolf Under Wiki has some uh, ways you can do this uh, by turning like right and then left really quick it will, the missile won't have enough G's to get you um, yeah there's, there's quite a few ways to avoid them and yeah check out the wiki uh, for more ideas Thanks for watching, please do like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful and do put any more tutorials you want me to do down in the comments below. But thank you everyone, have a good day.